Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Africa arise. Africa arise. For your time has come. Let your light shine to the nations of the world. Let God arise on your behalf. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. I want to, you may take your seat to our beloved bishop, Archbishop Harrison, Dr. Harrison. Thank you very much for, again, for setting up this meeting and, uh, and uh, allocating me to be part of this meeting and share the word of the Almighty God. I'm aware that we have gathered here to pray. And uh, I want to tell you that it is the most powerful service that I like, the service of prayer, more than all other services. I want to tell you prayer is not just verbalizing words. Prayer is communication with the unseen God. Prayer, it is when the a human being is in the mode of speaking with the unseen God. Prayer, it is an effort of bringing the kingdom of God to rule on the earth. We have heard that thy kingdom come. Some are praying the same prayer, repetition of thy kingdom come, thy will be done. They are not aware that it was not just the prayer, but it was principles of the kingdom. With this kind of a service, we are saying, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. We are not talking about Jesus coming to establish the everlasting kingdom. Yes, we are waiting for that. But it is prayer that brings the kingdom upon the earth. It is prayer that will make the world to listen to our God. It is prayer that the destiny of people are directed by prayer. It is prayer that can make God to move on earth. The hand of the unseen God can do amazing things on the planet earth when there are people in prayer. When they have prayed, the place was shaken. When the disciples had prayed, things happen when we have prayed. When Solomon had prayed, fire came down. When the disciples have prayed, the place was shaken. We cannot shake the world outside before we can be shaken in prayer. Prayer must shake your life and shape your life. So that you can shake the world and make the world to heed unto God. Prayer. Prayer, it is to enter into the holy chamber with the king of kings. When we enter the presence, we became pregnant. It is in prayer when we receive spiritual things. The unseen things are received in the depth of prayer. The world that was the world that is, is, is has been turned around by men and women who close themselves in a room and talk to the God who is not seen by human eyes. Prayer. Prayer moves the hand that moves everything. Prayer moved the hand that created the world, brought the world into being. Prayer. 
Prayer is a governing power. When God created the earth, he said to men, have dominion over the works of my hand and subdue. It is in prayer when we are positioned to subdue the earth and bring it back to the, to the Father. Prayer. The Monravian prayed for 100 years. Then revival spark on the earth. Prayer. It is when people have prayed in different places in Africa, the world, that we have seen revival. God comes when we pray. For prayer is a simple language that even a child can utter to God. Prayer. Prayer is to enter into the secret of the Almighty God and speak to God to expect the things that has had and never happened. Prayer. Pulpit is not a place of power. Pulpit and miracles are the result of your connection with the unseen God. When you have connected with God, there will be a display when you stand on the pulpit. The devil is not afraid of theology. The devil is not afraid of my title. The devil is afraid of an old lady on her knees. Prayer. Make the things that have been promised to become reality. Prayer. Prayer does not have a distance. It know not a distance. There's no distance in prayer. You call Japan where you are now. Prayer's hand is so long that it can shake Japan. And the whole world will be governed by prayer. If people who are praying prayers in the house of prayer can pray prayers, they can rule this world. You remember Solomon when he was dedicating the temple to God. He said, Father, I pray for the prayers of people who will pray prayers in the house of prayer. Solomon was praying for the prayers of people who will pray prayer in the house of prayer. Tonight, as an apostle, why do I push before we pray? I'm going to pray for your prayer that you pray in the house of prayer that your prayer shall be heard. For Solomon said, if disaster will strike a nation, if there will be a mildew, if there will be a disease upon the nation, if my people who are called by my name, they shall pray prayer in the house of prayer, I will hear them even when they are in exile, when they open the windows toward Jerusalem, I will answer their prayer, I will change their situation. Prayer change. Not only prayer does not change God, but prayer change our lives to acclimatize with what God is doing. Prayer does not change God. Fasting does not change God. But prayer make us sensitive to hear the voice of the Almighty God. Especially the prayer that is made basing in the word of the Lord. Many are praying, but they pray their prayers that are not in line with the press, with the word of God. The Lord will listen to the prayer that is in line with the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks about the people who pray prayers. I don't want to read scriptures tonight because... I want just to challenge you because you have been doing this for many, many years. And I've been seen, I've seen God answering prayer, united prayer of the believers and change the, the condition and the climate over their head. 
And I believe that when we gather together here, everybody could have prayed in his house. Everybody could pray everywhere. But united prayer changed the climate of our head. Prayer controls the forces of darkness over the cities. Prayer releases God. Let me tell you, prayer releases the presence of God to come upon the earth and do the will that he was going to do. But he is waiting for, he was waiting for your prayers. Prayer. In uh, the book of Daniel chapter number 12, 10. I'm reading from verse number 12. It reads as follow. Then he said to me, Do not fear Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand. Let me look at the screen. And do not be afraid, Daniel. And he said, to me do not be afraid daniel from the first day that you set your heart to pray to understand now man, i want you to look it very clear it doesn't say when you set your heart to pray but when you set your pray your heart to understand and to humble yourself before God. Now, your words were heard and I have come because of your words. Look at the screen if you don't hear me. I have come because of your words. It is your words that cause God to come. God is waiting to be called in the situations of the world. God is waiting to be mentioned in the problems of the world. He cannot do it alone without a human being. Why? Let me try this illustration. Maybe it will help somebody. When God created the universe, the word heaven and the earth, God gave officially the world the earth into adam and eve so adam and eve they were the king and the prince are over the earth whatever they will say over the earth it was happening and remember the title deed of this world was given to adam and eve to be permanent or permanent residents on the earth and when God released that title deed, there was no title deed in heaven anymore. And man was called the prince of this world. And Adam was given the mantle of a prince. When he walked in the garden of Eden, whatever he said, it happened. Even when God created a woman, God forget one thing. He forget to give a woman a name because he was waiting for Adam to finish what he didn't do and it is Adam not God who said you are Eve another thing that God has forgot to do was to name animals in those days a tiger was walking like a rat an elephant was swinging in his trunk like, like a mouse because they have never been given names if something is never given a name it doesn't know its destiny but God said to Adam I will create the animals with the soil but I'm not going to give them names because you are the prince of this world that must give destiny to everything that I've created hey listen here when the elephant came and passed Adam, Adam look how it works and how huge is the elephant. He said, I name you elephant from today. And when he said that, an elephant started to say, and sing the trunk. And suddenly there came a lion. And a lion was walking like a red. When it passes like a cat, when it passed Adam, Adam said, you are not a cat, but you are a lion. And 
and suddenly the lion starts to say, I'm the king of the jungle. It is him who gives names and destinies to the works of God. Now listen to me. That power and authority was dangerous. Because everything that happened upon the earth, God had to come and say, "Where well, Adam, where are you? God, in his mighty power, could not come into the world and solve problems. When there was a problem and crisis in the Garden of Eden, the Lord had to come to Adam and say, Where are you, Adam? It is a question of position. It's a question of position. But to Eva, the Lord said, Who told you that you are naked? Information. Wrong information will strip you. Wrong position will cause the world to fall into chaos. The Lord came to the people who have been given authority. Where are you? When the Lord is gazing across the world, the Lord is not asking anybody, politicians, our kings, but the Lord comes to the church and asks the church and say, where are you when the world is going into shame? Where are you when the world is going into drain, the drain? Where are you, church? Because you have such power to control and to stabilize my creation. And as a result, as a result, the Lord said to Adam, where are you? If you are the cause of everything because you didn't take your position. I believe that in prayer, that's where God position our lives, our hearts, so that we can be positioned in the creation that God has put us. Another thing that we need to know. When a man sinned, in other words, the lies and the deception of the devil was, it was deliberately a man handing over the papers the title did over to the devil when Adam seen and his wife they gave the title deed to the devil immediately after they have sinned the mantles that was on their shoulders was carried by the devil as a prince of of this world suddenly the Lord the Lord was coming into Eden man was misplaced that is why God was not allowed according to the law of creation of the universe to come to the world and do anything for he has given the dominion and the power to man when man has missed it god must go to a man and fix it with a man the greatest thing that the devil did not know is that within a fallen man before a man even fell in the womb of Eva, there was a seed for nations. And the Lord capitalized on that seed. He said, listen to me, devil. The seed of a woman shall crush the head of the serpent. One day you shall be crushed. One day you will bring back the kingdom. One day you shall bow down. One day you shall give up the kingdom. And God has been working the plan of redemption of humanity. But that plan of redemption was worked through the prayers of the believers. Because the prayer was the only method that is left for a man to reconnect with the creator and just to report how the world is. That is why the angel of God came to Daniel. He said, Daniel, from the first day that you start praying, your prayer was heard. But your prayer was heard. And I have come. I want you to check every word. I have that you set your heart to understanding and humble yourself before God. Your words were heard. And I have come in answer 
because of your word in other words god is telling a human that i have come because i'm not i'm god i'm not coming because i'm a supreme god i have the power to do whatever i like but for the earth i've given to men i have come now to declare babylon that the captivity of israel is over i know it was over 70 years is accomplished but i could not move my hand until i find somebody with understanding prayer goes with understanding understanding is very important the angel does not say pray or prayer he said when you set your heart for understanding the world is changed when people set their heart for understanding when you said i need to understand and the question is what can shall i understand and the bible says in the book in chapter 9 in chapter 9 glory to god In chapter number chapter 9 the verse 2 it comes by understanding in the first year of his reign I Daniel understood by books you've got to be a reader in order to pray a prayer that is in line with the will I understood by books I'm sorry for people who does not read books. And let me tell you the book that he was reading. He said, I understood by books the number of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet. In other words, Daniel was reading the book of Daniel, the book of Jeremiah. He came across the place where the Lord was telling that, I will send you to the captivity because of my anger. But after 70 years, I will bring you back to your land. In other words, when he read the book of Jeremiah, he understood and when he calculated, he calculated, he realized that the time that was spoken by Jeremiah is already accomplished. Understanding prayer need understanding you've got to understand the god that you are praying to you've got to understand what god is doing in your generation you've got to understand what the lord is saying to the church you've got to understand the need of the world for your prayer you've got to understand that the world is entirely depending upon the prayer of the believers you've got to understand that the wars that are in the world the wars that are all over the world are waiting for the church to unite and call upon God because God want to say at the end of the day when he talk with the with the seat of justice I did not come on my own I know I gave the world to a man but at this particular time I have come in answer to you, I'm, I've come to because of your word. And then I understand through the books the number of years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah, the prophet that will be accomplished 70 years in desolation. Then I set my face toward the Lord God to make requests by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and asha. And I pray to the Lord my God and make confession and said, O Lord, great and awesome God, who keep his covenant and mercy with those who love you, him, and with those who keep his commandments we have sinned and committed iniquity now listen the prayer that was supposed to be heard by god is was a prayer with understanding that our father has departed from the law of god we have many terms of sin but i just want to talk about iniquity iniquity is not your sin iniquity is the sin of your fathers 
Iniquity is the covenants that your father made outside God. It's iniquity. Iniquity affect the unborn generation. Iniquity affect the children who are not yet born because iniquity are the sin and the covenants of darkness that our forefathers has made with before we were born. But Daniel was praying prayer of iniquity. Here we have sin against you. He doesn't exclude himself, but he pray with understanding. Touch your neighbor and say, this night we are going to pray with understanding. It is reading the books that gave understanding. Dear Christians, prayer are made all over the place. All over the, over the world. But it's high time that children of God will pray with understanding of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. The time is over for people to pray prayers that are just evaporation, evaporating. But the prayers that will be prayed by children of God with understanding. Understanding of what God is doing today. Understanding of what God is saying to the church today. When you pray with understanding, you will cause heaven to release angels that will come to and fro and tell you that you gave us a job. Let me tell you, prayer made the angels to be on their assignment. If we don't pray, angels lose job because they can't do anything until they are instructed. If we want to give to create a job for angels we've got to pray because our prayer makes the angels a traffic in the atmosphere of angels that are going up and down that Jacob saw the ladder and the angels up and down our prayer makes the angels to go up and down our prayer makes the angels even to tell us what are the hindrances in the realm of the spirit but the Lord is saying this that I I want to emphasize i have come for your word if you did not talk i would not come revival is when god come in the old testament the bible says jehovah come from this place his glory cover the nation when god comes that's revival if God comes again to his people, we call it revival. Because he revived that which was already dying. Our prayers, in our prayers that we are praying to God today, we pray that God will look upon us again and bring revival that will shake everything that can be shaken. And every place shall be shaken. For the Bible says when they have prayed, the place was shaken. And he understood that the time has come. I declare tonight that the time for the church has come to arise and take our position. When we take our position, the world will bow before the church. For too long, we were listening to people leading us. The church was depending upon people in other sectors to give direction. But the church did not want to give direction. I'm not talking about joining a political party. I'm not trying to say that you must be a king. I'm saying the spirit of God. You can take your position and direct the course of life in this world. Through prayer, you can direct everything because things are done in the spirit because before they happen in the, in the physical. He says, eh, Daniel, do not fear. Whenever you are, you are a prayerful man, God will always say, do not fear. When circumstances change around you, if you are a woman and a man of prayer, you don't fear because you know a solution before the trouble. Ah, you don't hear me. You have a solution before the trouble. Before the trouble trouble you, you have the solution. And God is the solution. The solution is in prayer. When you kneel before God, solution comes. 
the Lord said, from the first day, when did God answer your prayer? Not today. When you set your heart for understanding, the Lord said, do not be afraid. The first day I heard you, when you wanted to understand. I pray today for the people of understanding. I pray for men and women who will walk in understanding of the purpose of God. Not only for your life, it's good. We will talk about that. But the purpose of God for the nations of the world. When we have gathered tonight to pray, let us understand the purpose of God for, for you, human beings. And we stretch ourselves to pray beyond, beyond our own needs. We pray beyond our own wish. We stop to pray for a car. You don't need to pray for a car. You believe a car for for a God for a car. You don't need to believe God for a house or to, to, to pray for a house. You waste your time. Just talk to your house and say, "I like you. Come here. Come here. Talk to your house. Talk to everything that uh, that you need." For the nation, but the nations of this world, we need men and women who kneel down and pray to God and say, "God, I have understand through the books that the." Time for slavery has passed. Everybody say it has passed. Time for slavery has expired. Time to be alone and struggle it is, is over. God is saying I'm doing a new thing and whatever I'm going to do is because of your words. What do you say to God when you are alone with God? Because he comes according to your words. In another new translation it says, I have come because of your prayer. The new living Bible says because of your prayer. God does not come if we don't pray. Because God don't want to be arrested to stand on the ground that he gave away to human being. God is a, he's not a lawbreaker. When he gives over to somebody, when you do problems, he fixed you. He doesn't fix the world. He fix your heart. That's why he said, I set my heart. We fix your heart. When your heart is right, then through you, you can fix the world. I pray tonight that God will fix our hearts so that we can fix the problems of the world. We don't want to call Jesus to solve the problem. I know some Christians are praying for the coming of Jesus. No, he mustn't come. When things are like this, our house is not in order. Let him wait a little bit until everything is fixed. The Bible in the book of Acts says, let the heavens retain him until the restoration of everything. Let Jesus be restrained until restoration of all things. There are things that still need to be restored. And those things are not restored just by talking big things on the street of our country. But those things are fixed in prayer. It is in prayer where we pour out our souls to God. Where we partner with our living God to say what he's saying to the world. And when we set our heart to understand the purpose of God for nations of the world, our churches, the body of Christ, then we come into the purpose of God. Our prayer will be powerful. Your words, I have come because of your word. I've come. I pray that in this church, God will not come because we have a beautiful building. We need a beautiful building. But God will come because of your words. What are you saying when you are alone? God is not to come in, in Africa because of the beauty and the aggressiveness of people of Africa. God comes when people call him. Bartimaeus called him. The blind people, the cripple called him. Son of David, come by me. Come by me. I, I need you. I have come because of your word. What has been your words for the last few days? That is that which will bring God on earth. What have you said to God these last days? And the Bible says, 
But the prince of the kingdom of, of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. For I had been left alone uh, there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand that which will happen to your people in the latter days. As the servant lets for a minute, let everybody pray to God. Let everybody go to God in prayer. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Talk to God, talk to God. This is the hour of prayer. The time of prayer. Pray for yourself, pray for your life, pray for your heart, pray for your spirit. Or upon the name of the Lord, he will hear. Mulili, a buona da cacciace, a rough to end the name. Call upon the name of the Lord for us some few minutes. Raka shata raba rabo shata raba rabo sanda raba.
Yasa, Yasa, Yoso, Riasha, Riaka, Robokosanda. The first day when you started preaching, your word were heard. Don't listen to the devil who's telling you that God is not listening to your prayer. That tells you that your prayer are nothing from the first day, but your prayer were waiting for understanding. And when God released that understanding, the angel comes. If you read in the book of Revelation, you see the work of the angels more than any time in, human, in the human history. Angels are put on assignment because of the prayer of the believers. For you read there in the book of Revelation that I saw an around the throne. I saw a something like a basket that was full of it. Then the angel command us to put to command me to put incense, and then the incense were like fire, and God pour out that incense upon the earth. Even the judgment of this earth is going to be done through our prayer. As much as the salvation of humanity is done through our prayer. Touch your neighbor and say, my prayer is working. Everybody say, my prayer is working. My prayer is working. My prayer is working. There are princes that want to fight with princes. The prince of Persia was stopping the angel to bring understanding to Daniel. If ever there is anything that the devil wants to stop, he wants to stop understanding. He wants to be us to speak in tongues to be everything, but he doesn't want us to be, he doesn't want us to have understanding. And I prophesy from today, you shall have understanding. You shall pray with understanding. You shall walk in understanding. And the devil is a liar. Understanding. Understanding will make even the king of Persia, the great demons that want to stop our prayers, it will be revealed to us. I, the reason your prayer were delayed is not you, it is the traffic in the atmosphere. There are demonic powers that want to delay your answer. I say today, let every demon leave your answer to your prayer, let every satanic power get rid of your prayer your prayer will penetrate every power of the devil the prayer that your prayer will penetrate any kingdom of darkness and the angel will come and tell you the things that we don't understand and say the king of Persia withstood me now God was talking about who was against God and against God because of the prayer he said, but another angel, which is Michael, the great prince, came and helped me that we finish the devil. I'm saying today, our angels are on assignment to help one another that your miracle shall be released. Your prayer shall be released. Your tomorrow shall be released. Your future shall be released. Because angels are fighting on your behalf angels are talking about you angels are writing down your request that man this 
woman has requested we as angels will fight because he has set his heart to understanding when your heart is set to understanding you will cause the angel to fight on your behalf your wars will not be your war your wars will not be your war it will be the war between the invisible to the invisible the invisible god to the invisible devil they will both both fight in the atmosphere god will send the angel that will come and say don't worry when you say me see the delay don't worry when you see me delay i was dealing with the demon of persia that want to hold your prayer that it should not come to you but i have come because of your word to give you understanding of the things that will befall in this generation and the generation to come i've come here to reveal the things for the end times not in your time but in the time to come in the book of daniel we see the interpretation of the statue that talks about from babylonian empire to the roman empire to all the empires of this world god was busy with daniel to reveal the end time position of the world God was telling him that after you Nebuchadnezzar somebody's coming and reveal and God revealed the future of humanity because he loves us but the future of humanity is revealed when we set our heart for understanding and to pray prayers God will answer God will answer you see I've come because of your word if you didn't pray I would not come if you did not pray i would not have come i have come because of the prayer that we prayed that evening in kenya i have come because of the people who sacrifice their sleeping time i have come because of them i have come because of the people who stayed in the middle of the night it's something to one but they are staying in the presence of god they want to enjoy the presence of god and he doesn't care about it they are giving tithe of their time and say lord we know that you will never come until we pray we'll pray prayers until somebody comes from heaven and answer our prayer give god a hands of praise I have, now I have come to give you understand to understand what will happen to your people in the latter days. For the vision refers to many days to come. That is number 14. I have come to give you understanding of the things that will happen to your people. The things that will happen to your people rely upon the prayers that we pray today. I pray that you will pray prayers in the house of prayers that will affect eternity for prayer is eternal prayer has got no limit prayer enter into the world known and the world not to be known for the vision refers to many days yet to come some of the prophecies of daniel were referring for today's time but all these things happened in the atmosphere of prayer it is the atmosphere or atmosphere of prayer where we begin to see the things that will happen in the latter days we don't need to try to be prophets to try to wash our face with water that we see clear no if we pray our eyes will penetrate the future and the destiny of people we will be able to tell the people i saw the future i saw the bright future i saw nation worshiping god i saw countries experiencing the mighty move of the holy spirit i see countries working under the power of the holy spirit it referred to the days to come yes the days when it will be tough the days when prayer will be scarce the days where we have will be in trouble the prayer of today affect the future of our future it enters into our future and deal with our future while we 
we are still here and deal with our children and deal with our next generation when we are still here Jesus said Simon Simon Satan have loved to shake you like a corn but I have prayed I've prayed for you I know the purpose of the devil he want to shake your life but Jesus said I prayed for you the devil is always laid for our prayers is all before God if you don't know somebody has prayed for you you are sitting here because somebody invested prayer for you and I pray that you will invest your prayer into the power into the kingdom of God for those for those who could not afford to pray they never like to shake you but I have prayed for you I've prayed for you I have prayed for you I heard your prayer I know the aims of the devil about your life I know the devil wanted you not to see 2024 I know the devil has a plan to destroy your family I know the devil wanted to destroy your church but I have prayed for you that when the devil comes he will find in your account bank account prayers that have been prayers prayed by the people in the house of prayer don't be afraid I prayed for you don't be afraid of the devil I prayed for you I prayed for you look to your neighbor and say no he has prayed for me he has already prayed for me I'm just here to get understanding that I, he has prayed for me he has already prayed for me that I will overcome every demons every satanic forces he said I prayed for you I prayed for you that when you enter into that place I prayed for you that when the storm is shaking your life I prayed for you when you enter into a zero hour of your life I prayed for you when the devil challenge you left and right challenging your finances and everything I hear Jesus said don't be afraid Daniel I prayed for you my prayer was just delayed by the kingdom of darkness but I'm here to tell you I prayed for you I have prayed for you that's an apostolic declaration I prayed for you that you will overcome I prayed for you that you will be greater than your situation I prayed for you that the devil will fight but he will not prevail the Bible says in the book of Revelation and I saw a great dragon it came to the woman who was pregnant he fought with the woman but the devil was thrown down to the earth he could not prevail I declare that the devil will come but he's not gonna prevail the word prevail means not power enough tell the devil you have power but your power is not enough to subdue my life your power is not enough to make it be to turn away from the ways of God look to heaven and say Satan up and say Satan your power is not enough your power is not enough they overcame by the blood and the word of their testimony not the word in the Bible the testimony it is the word from the Bible but when it comes through your lips you say to your situation it becomes the word of the word of testimony the word that you speak in the midst of your trouble is the word of testimony you talk about the things that you have seen you have talked about the things that you know God is able you talk about the things that you know God is capable oh, shakara the devil is a liar you have no power enough to tame me you have no power enough to bring me down you have no power enough for I have an understanding of who God is and understanding of who I am who I am in this world 
I carry power. I carry authority. I carry anointing to trample upon scorpions and serpent. I carry power to walk upon all the forces of darkness. I carry power to subdue the devil. I carry power. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not afraid to tell you that I carry power and authority. With the Bible in the book of Luke says, behold, I have given unto you power and authority. The word power means dynamis. The word authority means exhaustion. Meaning I give you power to exercise your power. You have power to exercise what you believe. Exhaustion means to execute. I have given you power. You can have a power but not have the authority to use that power. But Jesus says to us, I have given you power and authority. Not to kill the demons, to trample upon demons, scorpions, scorpo, scorpo, scorpion is a scorpo in the Greek original Greek scorpo was known as the most dangerous class of demon power. Scorpo and serpent was regarded as more power that deceived the whole world. For the Bible says the whole world is under the deception of a serpent. But God is saying, I give you power over scorpo and serpents. You shall tremble upon them. I declare today you will walk upon your troubles that has troubled your life for years. I have given you power to call things that are not as though they are. Like your father Abraham who called the things that are not as though they are. It's time to call. Call the things that are not as, they, as though they are. He said, devil, I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ to strengthen me. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise the standard against my enemy. No weapon that is forged against me shall prosper. That is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise the standard against the enemy. I want you to understand the verse clearly when the enemy shall come comma like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall raise against my enemy it's not the devil who will come like a flood but it is the Holy Spirit who will come like a flood when the devil plan to destroy your life when the me come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard I feel in the spirit God is raising standard in your life God is raising standard in the church of Kenya God is raising standard in church in Africa God is raising the bar against the forces of darkness and it is the spirit of God that will lift the standard against your enemy if you were standard one God will make you to write an exam in six months so that you can pass and when the enemy comes at the standard six level or grade six level it will find you in grade eight it will only touch your feet but it's not gonna overwhelm you for the spirit long before the devil the spirit organize your standard i prophesy over your life tonight that god is raising a standard in your life you shall walk and never be unstopped stop you shall declare things and it shall happen as we go to prayer today it will be time to declare and what we declare shall come to pass the devil is a liar whatever we say shall come to pass the devil is a liar declare a thing concerning my sons concerning my sons command ye me concerning my sons command ye me tell me what to do 
concerning my sons. I put all the power in you to tell me what I, I should do. I am God, but concerning my sons, command ye me. I will do what you command me to do. I am God, but I don't come without somebody telling me what to do. Because I've given the title deed to you. Tell the devil, devil, you are not the prince of this world anymore because of Calvary. Jesus said the prince of this world is coming, but I have known nothing for him. I don't owe the devil anything. I have taken the, the power when I went down to the cohorts of death, when I entered the gates of hell and the belly of hell and the, and, and the, and the bottomless pit in hell. I was going to take the title deed and the title deed is in my hands. It is Jesus in Matthew 28 when, where he says, Ah, do not be afraid. Do not fear anything. I have, I have dominion over the earth. I go here with this power and tell the nations, preach the nations and make disciples of all nations. I have authority, power and authority. Go with authority and change the world. I go with that authority and change the world. Go with that authority and change the world. You have been given power. The power that you lost, God is ushering it back to you. But it is only when you understand that you have power more than your enemy. You have power over your devils. You have power over the demonic forces. We can speak to the sky. We can speak to the atmosphere. We can tell the devil to bow. He will do exactly what we say. Because we speak under authority. Jairus says, I'm a man under authority. And you are under authority. Then you don't need to come to my house. Speak a word. And my son shall be healed. Your word carries the weight that you carry. Speak a word. It shall happen. I speak today to you. That when you speak the word. The enemy cannot resist you. Because you speak under authority. You speak under power. You speak under anointing. Give God a big hand of praise. Do you have a song? That one that you sang that morning. English one. Remember please. Your people will be able to play. Karabashandra. Great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning Yarabosa. Yes, Lord. As a Listen. It's a time to pray and to seek the face of God. If my people who are God's people who are God's people if my people who are called by my name shall turn away from their wicked ways shall pray I will hear from heaven I will turn their captivity who are God's people we are going to call our father who is in heaven we are going to call our God for a few minutes I want us to call upon God and while we are still under this anointing I want everybody to rise on your feet I want you to practice the presence of God the presence of God is practiced practice the presence of God enter into the presence of God 
with joyful noise practice the presence of God tell God how great he is tell God how great is his faithfulness tell him tell him tell him make shout unto the Lord it's already Saturday let's claim this day to the Lord and say thank you Father for this wonderful Saturday thank you for hearing the words of the Almighty God thank you Father to do the things that you prepare before the foundation of the world you are faithful oh Lord you are faithful shout and pray shout and pray shout and pray in Jesus name I give you a few minutes to pray I give you a few minutes to pray in his presence enter the presence of God and learn to stay in the presence of God learn to stay in the presence of God morning by morning new messes I see every morning morning and morning new mercies I see I see mercy goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever I want everybody to start praying and don't stand on one place just do this and pray just move and pray move and pray move around and pray move around and claim what you must claim tonight in the mighty name of Jesus move around move around move around God is a faithful God Karaboshan Karabasatarabol Karabosikorabol Kenya because of you. I have come to Africa because of you. I have come to your family because of you. You called me and I have come to tell you the things that will happen not only on your time, even the future that is laid before us. I'm here to tell you the future. I'm here to unfold the things that are hidden in our future. Pray and clap your hands and praise them and worship them in the mighty name of Jesus. Few minutes, few minutes, few minutes. Few minutes, few minutes. Ya baba o. Ya la la baba o. Ya la baba o. Ya la baba o. Ya la baba o. Few minutes. Let us shout unto the Lord. Let's just tell God how great He is. How great is His faithfulness. His faithfulness to all generations. His faithfulness to all generations. His faithfulness lasts forever.
faithfulness is great is thy faithfulness morning by morning your mercies are seen I Yeah. <laughs> 